In the worlds of sports and business, uh, few people are better known than George Gillette. You've owned many sports teams. You also owned Vail. And one of the things that you said when you, when you took over Vail was it needed a world-class orthopedic capability. And you tell the rest of the story from there. <laughs> well, we, we were blessed to have this extraordinary resort. But the, the medical side of it, the hospital was good and solid, but the the orthopedic side of it wasn't up to the par for the uh, the kind of opportunity that Vail presented. And uh, so I had a bad accident. And uh, Cindy Nelson introduced Rose and me to Dr. and Mrs. Stedman. And they couldn't have been more charming. And they were on their way to the World Championships in 1987, I believe it was, in Austria. And uh, Dr. Stedman said, come see me in San Francisco at the airport. I've got to go. To, uh, to the world championships. So Rose and I flew out to um, uh, San Francisco. He took one look at my knee and he said, we're going to Lake Tahoe. And so he delayed his trip by a day and he operated on me. And it changed my life because once I, I met that extraordinary gentleman and his lovely wife and they had Rose stay with them as they have done so many of, of, the, of the patients over the years. And uh, my knee got better, and our relationship with the Stedmans continued to stay strong. And so we started working. It took me three years to convince them to consider coming to Vail. I remember asking Dr. Stedman one time, geez, why don't you practice in San Francisco or L.A. or Chicago? And he said, no, because uh, this being in South Lake Tahoe sorts out who's serious about having surgery and who's serious about you know, their physical I therapy heard, after it. I That's what he told that. me. That's wonderful. And he didn't want to go anywhere. And you got him to come here. So how did that happen? I believe that it was, we were prepared to assist him in fulfilling his research dreams. We had an opportunity here to build a very, very serious world-class research facility. We started on it. He had a dream. We had a dream. And we shared that dream, and it worked out. Lots of legends in the history of Vail, Colorado. Where do you place Dr. Richard Stedman among that uh, hierarchy of people who've made this place great? Well, I mean, it's, it's somewhere at or near the, near the top. And when I say near the top, I, I think he would be one of, the, one of the five folk up there, along with the, the, the crew, Pete Seibert and Earl Eaton and Dr. Stedman. We've, we've, we've had some wonderful, wonderful luck having great people who have been here, supported Vail and Beaver Creek. Nobody better for us, nobody better for the, the profession of skiing than Dr. and Mrs. Stedman. And fortunately for all of Vail and skiers from all over the world, George Gillette remains uh, as a leader on the uh, Stedman Philippon Research Institute board and has uh, ensured that this uh, tradition continues and the excellent care that Dr. Stedman uh, pioneered is available to everyone with those who are part of his team now. Thank you, Greg. Delightful to talk to you. Thank you, George.